welcome to the Superhero Ultraferno. Uh, thank you for getting so close and cozy and comfortable and together and with people. Make sure you are comfortable, ladies and gents, because if you're not, um, you've got 45 minutes to bear it. But it is a quick show, it's a fun show, it's a combination of lots of different types of theater. I will not lecture you this time. You have a program on the back, you can read my lecture. So, have a wonderful show and thank you for coming. Something terrible is happening in our high schools. Something that looks a lot like this. Behold. And he said, I'm not a Shi'ar, I'm a scroll. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so funny. Actually, that's a tragic statement. You see, Shi'ar are descended from birds, and scroll are shapeshifters. Yeah, I knew that. I'm afraid I can't date you anymore. I must leave you now. Oh, go out with me instead. I suppose. Come, I will put my car and look like a penguin submarine. Yay. No, I had my chance to hold on to him and I failed. I wish I knew more about alien races. Why did I not spend so much time learning that? Hey, I'm the starting quarterback on the football Leave team. Leave me alone, loser! It hurts so much! <laughs> Just, what is going on here? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, I'll tell you. Nerds have taken over the world. You see, in the 1980s, a bunch of comic book loving, Star Wars arguing, Dungeons and Death, dragons playing nerds, infiltrated Hollywood, and took over. No, it can't be. That's why every month there's a new Star Wars movie or a superhero movie, or a Star Trek movie, or a television series. It's all so clear now. How do we stop them? I'm afraid it's too late for that. Shh. There's a place for you in the New Order. And that's why we're here today, to teach you. That's right. It's time for the Superhero Ultraferno! Indeed it is. Ultraferno! Not even a word. Where we're going, we don't need words. Bam! Back to the future reference. Who's with me? You'll have to excuse King. He was raised by monkeys. <laughs> now we've heard not all of you have spent every waking hour in your rooms reading comic books. <coughs> Losers. And you may need a primer on superheroes in order to participate in modern life. Now, now if the geeks rule the world, who's with me? Any dork people in the audience? Yeah. 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 I suppose. Wanna hear that? No, I do not. Okay. Part one, historical context. Unnecessary. Skip it. We're just diving in. Superheroes originated in the aftermath of World War II as patriotic symbols to help fight the Nazis. Who cares? Moving on. Fine. Part one, the Batman. Or a billionaire white dude is a victim of crime and uses his insane wealth to scare the hell out of everyone else. It is the same quest to make the world safe for other billionaires. Now you may be familiar with his Dark Knight incarnation, but there have been many, many Batmans. In fact, the best one was this guy, 1960s TV Batman. Well, Chunk, this looks like a job for the dynamic duo. Do we have pants I could wear? I wish I could wear pants. I've got a good friend. Your legs are a credit to your gender. Thanks, that's not awkward. <laughs> is your suit right up? Mine rides up. Gotta wear the right kind of underwear. That just sells me down, my winner. No, I'm gonna need your acrobatic assistance to try something out. What are we gonna do? Luckily, my utility belt is with the bat suit and a bunch of fire. I'm ready, Batman. Don't like take all my strength. You stay behind me here, and... Can we actually get to the crime fighting? I was getting to that. Wait, I'll just have to keep my personal discomfort. I'll just have to keep my concentration away from my personal discomfort. It's a riddle from the Capricious Cavalier, the Riddler. Holy holy thing, Batman, what does it say? It's a series of pictographs. Holy crap! Robin, though we are pressing all sides of super criminals, if we start using poor language now, they've already beaten us. I was referring to the crappy kind of fish. Oh, I should have known I could trust you. <laughs> However, I've already deciphered this riddle using my very own brain. It's a, it's a picture of a kitten followed by three eyes and an alien spacecraft. Quite obviously, they are striking Fort Knox. Let's take a taxi there. Unfortunately, it's rushed out. I'm only stuck with a caddy who doesn't speak English. Holy cow! Luckily, my muscles are warm and loose, and my super is low. We batch up there. Really, an idea, Batman. And we get some exercise, too. Let's go! <laughs> I wish more superheroes would job for crime. Now, you may be thinking that being a superhero is a job for a man. Not just any man, a super man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll just be over here. Making you guys uncomfortable with your, my x-ray vision? 
Maleficent. All right, anyway. Time to address the last of the three great heroes in the DC universe. Aquaman. Whoa, if there are any crimes going on in the sea, I'm your man. <laughs> Hold on! Let's say someone is stealing a giant pearl from the ocean. I can be there. Aquaman! Seriously! I can basically do everything you can do. Can't talk to fish. I can eat fish. <laughs> I can fry them with my laser vision. And, um, you can listen to their screams. What about flying fish? Or flying piranhas? That would be really cool. But there are no flying piranhas. What about a sharknado? If I could control a sharknado, that would be amazing. Alright, I was kidding, Aquaman. You're the worst hero ever. Get off the stage. I'm going to go talk to my other friends, the trout. Oh. <laughs> hey, what does fish talk about anyway? Mostly listen. <laughs> now it's time for Superman. An illegal alien taking American jobs. Once upon a time, on the planet Krypton. <laughs> Quick, we're all gonna die. Let's put a baby in a rocket. What? There's no time for logical thought. I built a baby sized rocket that can survive a trip to a distant planet with no ill effects whatsoever. Why didn't you make it big enough for us? Woman, I told you, there was no time for logical thought. Quick, can we call out? No, you're insane. That's what they told me when I said I wanted to build a rocket only big enough for a baby. But look who's laughing now. Ha ha ha. Seriously, and your only son. This is probably what That is what you said about our last son. And I'm sure he's doing great in space all by himself with no food. <laughs>
destroying those who would stop him. Now we've addressed the holy trinity of DC superheroes. Moving on to the Marvel side of the aisle, or you know, the people who make good movies. Now, if you're like this poor child over here and are unfamiliar with the Avengers, let's just say there have been many, many, many members of the Avengers. Legendary heroes such as Moon Dragon, Mantis, Doctor Druid, and the Two Gun Kid. I have no idea who any of those people are. Yeah, they were not good superheroes. They were killed off fairly quickly. Listen, there have been like 900 members of the Avengers over the years. There's a high turnover rate. Some people go insane and become villains. But basically, it's just a job. I mean, they have a regular office. So let's take a look at a normal day in Avengers headquarters when no one's threatening to destroy the Earth. I'm gonna ask her out. I'm pretty sure today's the day. How about checking out? Uh, you know, you don't get to be a superhero without taking some risk. People said the whole bow thing wasn't going to work out, but check me now. It may not be the most powerful Avenger, but I mean, I pull my weight sometimes. And yes, I know she's the only girl on the team, and everyone's hitting on her. And her name is Black Widow, which implies that she will poison me after she mates with me. But that is a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Not a mutant, but I'm not a mutant. 
<laughs> hey, where do you buy your clothes? Spandex. Really works. Expands. Huh. Very warm fitting though. Yeah, I prefer not to become the ace team hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're probably full of strong guys right now, but we're all looking forward to something with like super speed or laser vision or um telepathy. That would be super cool. <laughs> we'll call you. Maybe you should call him He Hulk. I like you. Emergency! <laughs> Emergency! We got a tax fraud down at the local law firm. Avengers Assemble! Earth's mightiest heroes indeed. Now, there's one more person we need to talk about. How? Where do I come from, you wonder? The sea? I am the king of Atlantis, <laughs> even though I'm a total white guy. <laughs> Get off the stage, loser. Just wait till you're near a stream, buddy. The goldfish never forget. Well, every, they do every few seconds. But there are other fish, and those fish are unfriendly. <laughs> you know who we're talking about. Spider-Man. Just your neighborhood friendly web crawler right here. <laughs> Spider-Man has been the star of comics, TV shows, 31 different movie adaptions, and of course, a Broadway musical written by Bono and directed by Julie Taymor. But the problem with the musical is that it wasn't big enough. You gotta go big or go home. And when you think you've gone too big, go bigger again. And when people are screaming at you to stop what you're doing for the love of all that is good, go bigger again. <laughs> can you even go bigger than the Spider-Man musical? Oh, yes you can. And when you want to go big, you go to the Germans. Like World War II. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now, in seven minutes, is Spider-Man the German opera. <laughs> Die Spiermann. <laughs> my nightmare is with your kiss. I feel exactly the same way. Like the Germans. <laughs> now, 
now the entrance of the supervillains. I am Green Goblin. Do you fear me? Do you fear yourself? I am your fine house collection. You're in. Only one of us may live. Ha ha! I am Sandman, man of sand. Hold me, you cannot. Love me, you may. I have a metaphor for something, but you will never know. Ha ha ha! I am Cat Who's Black. I am a woman and also a criminal. I also do not have bear any resemblance to Catwoman, who is a villain in Batman. Ha ha ha! I mean life to a woman. That is all. I've got a lot of electricity. I am the Doctor of Octopus. Do I have secrets? Does an octopus have secrets? Maybe you should ask him. Ha 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 ha! We are the villains! Did you create us? No! Thank you. <laughs> 